Good afternoon, Fountain here with Tech Out, and today we're going to be installing the Whitestone Dome glass for the Z Fold 5 right here. This is for the outer screen. This is their UV liquid curing screen protector. Um, so this is a two pack. I've got one of everything laid out here that we're going to need, um, as well as the installation tool and my Z Fold 5 right here. Uh, make sure you go ahead and power it off. Um, for this so you don't have to worry about the screen turning on um, while you're doing it I do have their privacy screen protector on here right now that we're going to go ahead and peel off like so and we're going to go ahead and open up the device and start this process so the first thing you're going to want to do is put on your um, pieces of tape here to keep the adhesive out um, so this first one is going to be over the hinge. All right, so we're just going to take one of the ends here, and peel it off. Let's see. All right, so we're just gonna peel this off and put it over the hinge. You don't want to make, you want to make sure it's not too far over the screen um, to where it's going to interfere with the screen protector. But just make sure you get it over your hinge entirely, not like I just did. All right, I'm gonna call that good enough. All right, like so. So it just goes to the just goes to the edge of it right there, and then we're going to take these right here, and these go over your speakers and your buttons on the top and bottom. So just like so, just cover those again. You want to make sure you don't cover up the the screen where the screen protector is going to be going. SIM slot right there, and then the speaker on the bottom, and you don't have to worry about the power button or anything because it's on the other side over here, um, so that will not be affected. Alright, so the final one down here. put that like that there we go and then we're going to place the phone in our installation tool obviously the camera is going to go right through here once we place that down we're going to open up this pack of stuff right here and we're going to need this as well as two of these foam pieces right there. That are going to sit right here on the edge like so. And of course there are two more in there for um, your next installation. Cause like I said, it is a two pack. I'm gonna take a wipe out. our dust removal stickers and one of our microfiber cloths and then we're just going to put the other stuff to the side because we aren't going to need it. We're going to take this little tool right here and place this in here. Snap that in there like so. Then we're going to take the speaker protector and place that right there on the middle and 
press that tape down on the top to make sure it gets over your um, speaker. I'm going to take our wipe here, clean the screen like so. Make sure you get all these fingerprints off. Give that a second to dry. And then we're going to take our microfiber and wipe it down. And then take your dust sticker and get all your dust off. Very important that there's no fingerprints, dust, or debris on your screen. Pretty good to me. Now we're going to take our bridge here, place that in. We've got our screen protector right here ready to go. I'm going to open that not over top of it so it doesn't get anything on there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and have it ready. We're going to take our bottle of glue which seems to have rolled somewhere. All right, I've got, got another one right here. So we're gonna take our top off. And I'm going to put that in here, color side down, color top side down. And then we're going to open it up. But first I'm just gonna place this in here so it's ready. All right, now we're gonna open it up. Kind of make sure you keep everything in the center. Um, don't let it get over to the foam. Just make sure you're on a level surface. Let that drip out for about 15 to 30 seconds. You can see it's still dripping a little bit down there. Looks like there's one more. One more drip coming. I don't recommend hitting it like that, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just trying to get it all out. All right, we got one more drip there, so I think that's about it. I'm gonna take that off. Just put the cap back on so you don't have any extra drips there. Take that. You will need this for the second installation, so make sure you save all that kind of reusable stuff going to check for any dust down here, make sure there's no dust still. And if there is, you can have one last opportunity to clean it off. We're gonna take the back off the screen protector here. And we're going to, without touching the back, line it up. Make sure it is in place on all the sides here. And then you want to press down on this until the glue reaches the two arrows right here in the middle and you want to keep it straight and keep it in the middle. So you can see there we are in the middle. And once it's in the middle, go ahead and pull your tab here. Let's see, we're kind of passing the middle. There we go. And while that is doing that, you want to give that about a minute. Uh, go ahead and open up your UV light here. Get this set up, just open it up. Like so, unfold the legs. You will need to provide your own cable, but it is USB-C, um, so you can just use the cable that came with your phone. All right, set that up there. All right, looks like we still have a little bit to go on the top here. So it's still spreading. You can see the line up there a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but. Looks like we're all the way down on the bottom. We're just waiting on the top. 
like I said, you want to make sure you get that bubble right in the middle. I kind of had mine down here, so it's having a little trouble getting up to the top there, but it is getting there. All right, it's almost to the top in the middle. We just got to get the corners right there. And you want to make sure you don't touch this or try to spread it out or anything like that by hand um, because you will move the screen protector on the screen and get it out of alignment. And you can also cause the glue to um, disperse unevenly. They do give you three things of glue, so you can take this off and use the same screen protector if you haven't cured it yet and try another bottle of glue and try to put it back on if you have any issues. All right, so we're almost there. You can see it's just now making its way to the top, so we should be good. We're going to go ahead and... All right, it's been about 60 seconds, I think. So we're going to go ahead and take this and place it right here. And we're going to push it once for 15 seconds. Oop. That was my USB-C charger that made it turn off, that wasn't the light. All right, and then we're gonna move it to the middle. Some people do top and bottom, but I like to cure it as much as possible, so I do bottom, middle, top. Alright, now once that is done, we're going to set this aside for a second, and we're going to take this out very carefully, and we're going to take the phone out here. Just don't push on the screen protector too, too much. We're going to carefully remove it. Remove our little pad here. All right, and we're gonna take the wipe real quick and we're just gonna wipe carefully around the edges. Just get any excess glue cleaned up before you uh, cure it again. And then we're going to come back and do it twice again normally the light doesn't turn off like that it's just the charger I have hooked up to uh, resetting because it's charging a couple of things right now all right while you wait on that good time to clean everything up so um, save these stickers. You're going to want to save this. You can throw these away. Um, there are two more in that other pack, like I said, for your second installation. So we have the other screen protector, another top piece, uh, two stickers for the bottom or for the, um, the ports. And then we should have, uh, it's over here. Here's the other bottle of glue. So there are three bottles of glue, so we're just gonna throw that back in there. Another hinge protector. Throw that back in there. And then these pieces, of course, you're gonna need to save. Throw all that in there. And then you can throw away this extra piece that you took off. Not the one that's already in there, but the one that you took off. And then, of course, save your bridge as well. And then you can use those to do another installation. There is another um, there is another wipe and stuff in there as well in that accessory pack. So 
you should have some more, more uh, alcohol wipes, the two extra absorbent pads for the sides, and some more microfiber cloths. There's only one sheet of dust removal stickers for whatever reason, so I would just save the smaller ones and just use those for your second time around. Or you can, if you have extra ones, you can always use those. And then we're still doing 60 seconds in the middle right here. You can probably also do this with it in the jig, but I like to take it out um, just to get it all cleaned up before I um, take everything off. And then we'll do 60 seconds on the bottom. And it's looking pretty good. I don't see any dust or anything in there. It looks like the, the top went down fully. Throw away your used glue bottle here. And then some people will go through and do another 15 or 60 seconds um, again. I usually do the 15 second pass in three spots and then a 60 second pass in three spots. And that's always been sufficient for me. Um, if you have any signs that it is not adhered or uh, cured properly, um, then you can always do an extra um, you know, time on the UV light, but I found that that's what works best for me. And I think the um, yeah, so they tell you to wait 100 seconds after you take out the pen, and then 15 seconds bottom, middle, top, and 60 uh, seconds for bottom and top two times. So they do tell you to do 60 seconds two times bottom and top, um, but like I said. That always seems to be sufficient for me. So we're gonna go ahead and peel the tape off now from our hinge. And there wasn't much spillover, there was a little bit right there, but that was about it. So there we go. There's that, and you can just take your microfiber cloth and wipe off anything that may be there. And there's our top again. There was nothing that really spilled over on the top because it didn't really didn't make it too far up there. And then I kind of had mine, my tape kind of wrapped around to the front here. So just make sure you don't catch your your inner screen protector and peel that up or anything. And then let me get these pieces of tape off my hand. All right, and then we'll get the final one. So yeah, you can see it's touching the touching the inner screen right there, so just be careful, make sure you don't peel your inner screen protector off. I do have a Whitestone inner screen protector as well, um, so that's what's on there. All right, as soon as I get this piece of tape off my finger again, there we go. I'll go ahead and fold it, and take our microfiber and just wipe it down good again. Again, if you see any like adhesive or anything around the edges, you can kind of just scrape that off. Um, if it looks like there's any bubbling or anything under it, try to give it another cure. But other than that, there we go. We'll go ahead and power it on. We do have a cutout here for the camera, um, so the adhesive and all that kind of stuff doesn't affect your camera. Um, if you have anything that ran through that, you might as well just uh, might might want to just take a cloth and kind of clean that out and make sure there's no glue or anything that's still stuck in there. But I don't have anything. But there we go. There is the Whitestone Dome UV film right there with the, or not UV film, but UV glass. So very, very nice. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, links will be down below in the description where you can pick this up.